you're gonna face dark days in your life and uh, more and more often than not it's going to be fairly dark and it's going to be more and more dark when you're early on in your career because the way i see it is people in the 20s early 20s are like the lowest currency in the world again if you have been keeping your eyes open for job openings or applying for jobs anything apart from campus even if you have gotten your first job you're two years in you're like all of these job openings are asking for like five to seven years of experience i definitely don't have that it's asking for a master's i don't have that uh, there are so many people from iits and nits applying for the same job i don't have that and uh, also i need to find a girl i need to find a guy i need to get to eventually marry my girlfriend or whatever it is there's like a huge amount of mess going on over there and actually the same kind of shit you're seeing over there too right <laughs> especially if if you are if you're not in a relationship you're trying to find a partner at that time you're the same freaking thing they're like um boys would be having this feeling that oh they're more successful guys over there girls are more attractive to them girls would be having like uh, oh they're prettier girls over there and uh, more successful guys goes for them or whatever it's it's a mess right and i'm here to tell you that that mess is never gonna end <laughs> so <laughs> so a very bright opening to a dark topic uh but I'm not here to bullshit you. I'm 31 years old, although I've been pretty sound when it comes to relationship for the past like four or five years or so. I've been lucky in that. But when it comes to career, it's like a constant, constant battle and always an uphill climb. And you always are struggling. And at some point you are like, how long am I going to be struggling? Right? And that you're by now you're already like an agreement of what you were told that your 10th standard examination is the one examination you need to focus on then you were told like your 12th standard examination board examination is the one thing you need to get rid of or the one thing you need is to get to a good university or your nit or iit and some of you did and you still found that (laughs) that's not enough or some of you did not you lived with a regret for three years and now you are about to graduate and the struggle continues and to you it was told that you need to prepare for gate examination and you did or you became an engineering services officer and still like you're like there's a there's more fight over here i need to keep struggling it really is never going to end at least to where i am it's not going to end in the next like 10 years or so uh for you but also i want to say that there are a lot of people who are very settled they are like in the job that they want they are comfortable they have a safe source of income Uh, many of my batchmates are having kids Uh, they are married and like literally everybody in my brc training program batch everybody is married most who were in my batch in indian space research organization all of them are married right so they are looking forward to like buying a house or settling down having kids and all that so that's all well and good and right now living over here in america for the past three years or so there's so many indians over here especially in the silicon valley the bay area there's so many indians over here and same thing for them as well the only thing difference is that they worked in india for some time then they came for masters in america then they continued working in america right or they just completed their undergraduation went for a masters in america and then they started working in america or they did a phd and you you get the whole routine right so many of them after like five to six years they are fairly stable and many of them at this point are like in agreement with like this is my life and this is what i got i'm turning 30 now i'm turning 35 now and uh, i'm investing in stock market and i'm planning to buy this house or i bought this house and this is my mortgage and all that but there's there's some kind of uh, inconvenience which comes from settling down and to those who are like in early 20s will not be able to understand this and i definitely 
did not feel any of this when I was in like 22 or 23 or when I got into ISRO I was just 23 years old at that time or no you know, I was 23 when I got to Bark I was 24 when I got to ISRO so super young and at that time the life is like so fast and the struggle has been so long already that you might be having a feeling that I, I just need to freaking relax man uh, give me a good amount of income and uh, a stable career and uh, and a career with to job satisfaction and a career with constant growth <laughs> and you need to understand that that requires more than you can think of or it, it asks for more than you think it should ask like the ask is always more than your expectation it is in general the case like look at where you are right now like whatever amount of accomplishments you have had right now you're probably unsatisfied and you're probably thinking that with this amount of struggle that I've been through, I should have had more, right? If you have no struggle so far in your belt, what the hell, man? Stop listening to me right now and go start working. This is not for people who are just looking for motivation over here. I'm not even talking about it. Matter of fact, this will be more demotivating. But if you have done, just like the projects that I was talking about, if you have done any big project in your life, like, I wanted this job and I went over there and got it. I wanted this master's, I went over there, got it. I wanted this MBA, I worked for it, I got it, right? I wanted this promotion, I went out there and got it. Whatever you got, you are probably thinking that I should have gotten a little bit more for the work that I have put in for this, right? And it's going to happen just like that just like that like whatever you want the ask is always going to be more than what you're expecting it to ask it is always going to take more and i think that it is designed that way that you need to have some amount of struggle to develop some amount of skills and it might be anything like if you work for a promotion you worked extremely hard and you got a good amount of skill and even though it might happen that your company screwed you over and did not pay you as much as you were expecting, but that skill is within you. And what you're going to do with that is up to you. And in a similar manner, when you move forward in life as well, you are always going to find struggle in every place. The only two ways that you can deal with it. Number one, lower your expectation and number two, come to an agreement that this war is never going to end. Understand that. So either you settle down, and I've seen many people settling down in my first government job, in my second government job. Hell, I saw many people settling even before that. Right? Whatever campus placement they got from their college, they just settled down for that. And, and that's good. They came to an agreement that this is what I want. And I'm going to stick to it. And there's nothing wrong. I'm not talking about it in a derogatory sense. Um, they came to peace with that. And that's good for them. And now they're going to be happy. That I know as well. Because I constantly stay in touch with my friends who are still working in the same organizations that I left. And they're all in agreement. But yeah, every job, every position has its own problems. And no matter what you do, you move forward, you find more problems. Sometimes you find the same problems. That's all well and good. Um, for example, a lot of problem when it comes to Bhabha Atomic Research Center or Department of Atomic Energy when it comes to posting. Uh, you jump to IOCL or you jump to engineering services or you jump to Indian Space Research Organization like I did. Same problems over there as well, right? If you leave to a private sector, yes, you are getting paid more and uh, you are now actually getting opportunity to make changes over there fairly early in your career because it's a smaller organization but then you're like it's a freaking smaller organization i'm used to an organization which is like spread across the country right and thousands and thousands of employees now i'm a, in a small startup in bangalore so um there's pluses and minuses everywhere and looking at the these things some people just settled down and accepted the problems they had with their current situation and some went ahead and tried more things some went ahead and uh, um, tried a startup or whatever it might be 
um, but they all face problems. And so there are just two ways. Either you settle down, right, accept the problems, and this might be with you when you are 22 years old, just graduating, the first job that you found, it just pays you 30,000 rupees a month, and you're like, that's good. That's good. I'm just going to stay here, keep growing slow and steady. Or you're like, I'm going to keep moving. That's your second choice. The second choice is like, you're going to keep on exploring. And that is in human nature to a huge extent.